there's nothing like these pretty little fish. And here's a few tips to help you catch a few more of these guys, specifically go out, target and bring them home. Now get and feel their prey a lot from a distance, so you want to use that, you want to use sound and vibration to help attract gurnard from all directions to your lure. So grubbing your jig or lure along the sea floor helps to send out a sound signal as well as puffs of mud. The sound travels a lot further, gurnard can hear it from further away, come over and investigate. You're sending out a vibration in all directions, bringing gurnard from various points of the compass over to investigate. When they get closer, they see your lure and attack it as their prey. So you want your lure just moving along at the bottom of the sea, along the sea floor, sending out vibrations, sending out the dinner gong to the little gurner down below. So just let that line drag out behind the boat, keep in touch with it. You want to set the hook if you can with gurnard because they do have quite a hard plated mouth. I'm going to set that hook home. There you go. Nice. You can use a jig the standard way with the hook facing forward or you can trail your hook so that as that lure grubs along in the mud and the gurnard comes in from behind, it hooks up first. 